Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Shelby, an educator here with Crystal Cove Conservancy. In your last session in the Coastal Dynamics program, you worked with your project team to create a model that showed how you predicted different environmental and anthropogenic factors that might affect the volume of sand on Crystal Cove State Park's North Beach. As you were creating your model, there are likely some parts of your model that you still had questions about. Maybe you wondered how waves really worked or wanted to know more about how sand really moves through a beach system. Or maybe you realized you wanted more background information on what exactly sea level rise models predict we can expect at Crystal Cove State Park over the next 30, 40, or 50 years. Today you'll come up with a plan to start diving deeper into the science of our Coastal Dynamics project by researching the questions that you identified with your model. Investigating and learning more about a system under study is an important part of the engineering process because it helps us develop a better understanding of the environmental system itself, which in turn will help us refine our model and make it more accurate to real life. So to start, you'll get together with your project team to review any questions that you still have about your model. After that, you'll come up with a plan to dive deeper into the different questions to learn more. I'll share a few investigations that you can use or your class might decide to come up with your own approach. Either way, this will be the next step in developing and refining your model, which you'll do soon. When you're ready, go ahead and move on to the next slide to get started. 